a brand new radiator. Doesn't leak, the one that's in there doesn't leak much, but it does leak a little bit. So I got a brand new radiator for it. Fogged up the lens there. Anyway, just got a pretty good, pretty clean tailpipe there. Of course, it needs to be washed. It's been sitting for quite a while. And see, it's going to be uh, manufactured by Chrysler Corporation, uh, two of ninety-four requires 15 inch tires it's got it's actually it's the Grand Cherokee Laredo which apparently has some options that others don't Temperature setting and some stuff up here. Uh, it's got a fairly decent interior. We got right front tire pumping up on this thing here right now. I had a little problem with this heat gauge. I'm not sure why, but I got another one. I haven't put on it, but uh, this heat gauge tends to stick sometimes all the way on and apparently it's typical. I've heard that it's typical. It may resolve when I have the radiator installed. Uh, if I don't or someone else does. And it does have actually have a small leak at the uh, just a small drip at the oil filter housing. It's not the oil filter itself because I've already checked that. It's not the it's not the uh, gasket on the oil filter. It's the the housing where the housing that this screws onto uh, bolts onto the motor. It's it's leaking right there. And let's see. I haven't used this radio for a while. Air conditioning does work. Uh, it's kind of nice if you're into humid weather. But we don't have much humid weather up here. Let's see if we could. That radio used to work. Not sure why it doesn't now. It's reacting, but it's. Yeah. Anyway, it's got 129.5517 miles on it. And good oil pressure, looks like. 40, 50, something. Uh, Battery is a little bit low, it seems like. Maybe if I turn that off, see what happens. Grab the motor. Yeah, it goes up. Oh, it's probably about normal. Um, this thing actually set, it's set for four months. And with the same battery, uh, it started up. I sprayed a little starter fluid in there because I didn't want to. I didn't have a battery charger with me, and I didn't want to try and jump it. So I sprayed a little starter fluid in there, and it started right up. Um, so yeah, it's. This is the Jeep, and uh, it's got the cruise control, which is kind of nice if you're into cruising. And the uh, 
I actually had the, uh, there was a small leak in the uh, exhaust down where the whatever exhaust pipe meets the frame down here somewhere. I was rubbing up against there. So yeah, this is the Jeep and if you're interested you can contact me at Eureka Recycler at Yahoo 707-445-1591.